We have already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space or developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Pentagon top brass getting you down? McGrath makes me sick. Just a typical cynical asshole. No, I would be doing the country a favor if I let Aiden take care of him. Yeah, we played our part in all of this. I shouldn't have accepted that mission. I was only thinking about my freedom, and that was stupid. So what are you gonna do now? Go as far away from here as possible. Try and forget about what a mess my life has been so far. <laughs> and what about you? The CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen. Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us, and I, I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after... All the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. You lied to me. I could never trust you again. I'm sorry, Ryan. I understand. Well, look, whatever you do, Remember, I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I can. Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle? I'll tell you what, I'll find you, okay? <laughs> this way, Jody. Decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? Someone's always decided for me. It's time I make my own choices. Just do what your heart tells you. Then you'll know you made the right decision. Here we are. Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. <laughs> Whatever Nathan says, be careful.
Jody. Oh, I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. Five hundred thousand dollars. For services rendered. That should help make a new start. I'm starting a new life. I don't want anything that reminds me of the old one. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago, wanted to die too. I cried a lot. Banging my head against the wall trying to figure out why, why. Why them? Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. The government gave me everything I needed to study the infra-world. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years. I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. Search. You're the only one that can do it. My darling. 
let us go, Nathan. <laughs> You're hurting us. You've got to let us go. Let us die! You. Fine. Helen did say that you did. You keep them here. They're being torn apart between two rules. That's, that's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. They're suffering, Nathan. If you love them, if you, if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Goodbye, Nathan. you find peace. Hi, Jody. Good to see you again. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. We don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neural acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Johnny. We will always grateful for your help.